Thank you to everyone who joined my positive conversations on part one. Here's part two of what people had to say. Hey Beatrice, Mambo VP. Uh, quiz Sapa, CEO Mnyamwezi, um, CEO wa uh, production house in a state of art. Lakini pia kwa wengine wengi ambao wataiona hii sura sio ngeni, basi ni hivyo hivyo. Kwa shilawadu na na vitu kama hivyo. Hii issue ya COVID-19 uh, aka corona kiukweli mara ya kwanza tunaisikia ipo kule uchinani ilikuwa kama vile masiara ujue. Tunaona kama vile ni ugonjwa lao na watapambana nalo na litaishia huko huko. Lakini hatimaye sasa hivi kama tunavyofahamu wote ni kwamba imeathiri dunia nzima na tukizungumzia dunia na maana of course tunazungumzia Tanzania na wa Tanzania. Uh, mimi kama mtu ambaye ni najihusisha sana sana kwenye utengenezaji wa maudhui au content kwa ajili ya TV kama hivyo unavyoona kwenye shilawadu tunakuwa tunanyapia nyapia sehemu tofauti tofauti uh, na vipindi vingine ambavyo uh, kwa mfano uh, sasa hivi nimezindua kipindi changu kipya kinaitwa Mwanga kwenye Kiza nikiwa kama director wa kile kipindi ambacho kinaonekana kupitia Clouds TV changamoto zipo kwa sababu tun, kuna kitu tunafanya uh, kinaitwa dramatization kwenye iko kipindi ambacho lazima tuigize uhalisia wa simulizi ya yule muhanga. Sasa sasa wengine unakuta kwamba unahitaji kwenda location, unahitaji kidogo mkusanyiko wa watu watu kadhaa ili ile story ilete maana kutokana na jinsi ambavyo yule mtu anavotuadisia. Sasa sasa hivi inakuwa ni ngumu, inakuwa ni changamoto hata kwenda kuchagua simulizi, lazima uangalie kwamba mm, hii hapa hii haitaweza kuendana na hali halisi iliyopo sasa hivi. Na Hey Beatrice, how are you doing? This is Robert Brawley. Well, during this COVID season, I mean it's a very dark season. But out of every darkness, light can shine brightly. So what I'm doing, I've decided to really look at the bright side. And the fact that movement is restricted, um, we can't do much even during the day. So what have I done? I've taken into writing. I'm writing more books. I have done about three books now, ready for publishing. So I want to encourage somebody, even in this dark season, you can still find some light out of it. In fact, light shines brightest where there is darkness. So don't lose hope. Don't think the world is coming to an end. Don't think there is no light at the end of the tunnel. Guess what? You are the light that will light up the tunnel. So what you do in this season will catapult you when this season is over. Stand strong. Together we will come out stronger. We will make it. Hi Beatrice. So, mimi kama Najma Po, mimi kama public speaker kipindi hichi ambacho tupo lockdown kipindi hichi cha corona, mimi ninatumia muda wangu kwa ajili ya kupanga namna ya kuongeza thamani nitakapotoka nje, nitakaporudi kwenye maisha ya uhalisia, namna ya kuongeza thamani kwenye karia yangu. Hicho ndo ambacho mimi nakifanya kipindi hichi. Kwa hiyo sichukuli poa msimu huu, sichukuli poa wakati huu wa matatizo, ninapokaa nyumbani na, na kuhakikisha I am safe na familia yangu, nina tumia muda huu ku research, kupanga, kujiongezea maarifa, kujifunza zaidi na zaidi. Hichi ndio ambacho mimi nakifanya kipindi hichi. Kwa hiyo hata kipindi hichi ninamshukuru Mungu kwa sababu najua nikitoka I will add value on my career. Hello, mimi naitwa Rubina, mimi ni msanii wa kike kutoka Kenya ila kwa sasa naishi Ulaya, naishi nchi ya Ufini hapa. Uh, kuna janga kubwa sana la corona ambalo linaendelea liko hapa Ufini linatoka China linatoka USA nyumbani Kenya Tanzania kila sehemu lipo na wakati tulipopewa maagizo kwamba tuketi nyumbani mimi nilisi kwa sababu mimi napenda kufanya vitu napenda kwenda shule napenda kufanya kazi napenda kufanya mziki wakati niliambiwa niketi nyumbani siku za kwanza kwanza nilikuwa nahisi kwamba da mbona nafungiwa nyumbani lakini ninavozidi kukaa nyumbani actually na realize kwamba hapana Nipo safe nyumbani sijafungiwa nyumbani ila nimeniko nime, niko protected nikiwa nyumbani na kuprotect wewe na jiprotect mimi na protect yule pia na pia nasaidia sana inchi nasaidia governments wafanyeje waweze kukabiliana na ile janga kwa muda mfupi tu kwa sababu tunavo uh, reduce ile rate ya kuambukizana ndio kila kitu kinakuwa easier na kinakuwa faster na ndio vile tuweza kurudi makazini kufanya kazi zetu vitu vitarudi normal as soon as possible ninachosema ni kwamba huu muda ambao tupo nyumbani usisi kwamba umefungiwa nyumbani isi kwamba umeprotectiwa ni protection flani upo nyumbani and you're safe muda huu chukua angalia vitu ambavyo ulikuwa umeka pending kuna ile kwa desktop kuna kuna ka folder flani unaweka vitu unasoma vitu vya baadaye rudi kwa vile vitu for now una muda una time una time ya concentrate go back to your own angalia ulikuwa umepanga nini uh, when the year started vitu kama 
I hope everyone's keeping safe and doing well. Despite all of that that's going in the world with COVID-19, I think this is an opportunity for people to reflect. For people to reflect about some of the essential things we've always taken granted for. This is a time where home feels more like home. It's a time where our mom's food tastes tastier. It's a time where we all, we can all think about some of the things we have always taken for granted, our environment, our mental health, some of the most essential things, our friends. This is a time where we can finally do things we have always said we wanted to do. And I think it is a huge privilege that we should be grateful for that in our lifetime, we have got this opportunity to be reminded and it may have come in the worst of ways but it's all about how we make most of this opportunity so stay home stay safe reflect be grateful for some of the things that we have hi beatrice how are you my name is helena william Mollel, an entrepreneur based in arusha thank you very much for your message well coronavirus has taught me self-evaluation has taught me self-reflection i have used this weeks being at home evaluating my business and my personal life and i believe when fishermen cannot go fishing all they do is sit back and repair their nets well repairing my life is one of it but i have joined a team of youths and we have planned on the first of may we are going to distribute sanitizers um sanitary pads baby diapers in orphanages and to the street children we have chosen these two groups because they are the ones that seem to, seem to be forgotten and most orphanages are ngos we don't have donors sending in any funds at the moment so we have decided to rise up as youth and save those that we love dearly and we have dear to us the slogan is tuwalinde tuwalinde vijana wetu tulindane Thank you very much. Hi Beatrice, mambo na magani. Nashukuru kwa salamu katika kipindi hichi ambacho watu wengi hatuonani. Um, jamii inapitia mshangao, jamii inapitia pagumu, jamii inapitia kitu ambacho hakuna ambaye alitegemea. Na kikubwa zaidi ni kwamba limekuwa COVID-19 imekuwa ni janga kubwa la dunia. Umeniambia ni niongee kidogo kuhusiana na nini tunakifanya na tuweze kuteteza mazingira ambayo ni sahihi ama ni positive attitude towards um, facing this calamity. Ukweli ni kwamba serikali nyingi pamoja na jamii kwa ujumla tumechukua ama zimeendelea kutupa maelekezo mengi mazuri ambayo naona kwa sehemu kubwa yanafuatwa watu wananao mikono, watu wanajitahidi kuja isolate, watu pia wanavaa barakoa na pia mara ya chache sana watu wanajitokeza kutoka nje ya majumbani kwao pale na kupidi na wengi sasa hivi wanafanyia kazi from home na sisi watu ambao ni trainers consultants pamoja na influencers ambao we do a lot of public talks tumefikia mahali sasa imebidi tubadilishe namna jinsi ya kuweza kufikia jamii na tunafikia jamii kwa njia mbalimbali tukijitahidi kujikinga pamoja na familia zetu mimi binafsi familia yangu tumekubaliana kufanya yale yote ambayo tunatakiwa kuyafanya tuna sanitize tunajaribu kutokuenda kwa watu hatutoki nyumbani haturuhusu wageni tunavaa barakoa pale ambapo mtu inabidi aende kufanya shopping ama chochote lakini zaidi ya hapo pia tunakaa na kuongea hali kwa sasa inaelekea pagumu maana yake sasa watu wameanza ku develop ku develop uoga maelekezo ya, ya, ya serikali yanafuatwa lakini kuna kitu kipya ama kuna kitu kina, kinachukua milizi sasa hivi ni uoga na kukosa matumaini kwa sababu taarifa za vifo zimekuwa nyingi sana wetu wangu katika hili ni ku, 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 kupitia njia mbili kubwa njia ya kwanza tuna, tunatakiwa wote turudi kwenye vita vyetu vya dini kama ni muislamu huu ni muda sahi wa kusoma Qurani kama ni mkristu ni fursa pia kurudi kusoma Biblia ili kuweza kufisha out the best message of the times za kukupa wewe matumaini lakini